1966 Ford Galaxy 500. Um, got everything all done and uh, buttoned up here. I just had a few more stuff I had to do since I put up the video yesterday. Um, and uh, so I figured I'd give you guys a quick glance at it and uh, tell you a little bit about it as uh, we learn some things. And I'll stop uh, rambling and here we are. So we got it in uh, Ford Blue, and um, let me get that color for you. And that Ford Blue is Royal Blue Pearl by Model Master. Again, this is that one that we got at uh, Hobby Lobby a while ago. And um, you all saw the interior, the tan with the leather stripes. Um, first of all, all in all, it was a good kit. Um, it, it was a little older. It's been a around for a while. I think it was a little bit warped, and I'll tell you why. Because my frame is, you'll kind of see. Let's put it on a spin here. The frame is, uh, it looks even, but the stance, you can tell the stance, it's up in the front. And that's because the interior, one side is kind of dipped down, and it won't kind of go in. Um, I've had other kits like that, too, so it might not be um, the kit. <laughs> Uh, but what what I did learn a lot on here, and again, all rattle cans, just in case anybody missed the other videos, this all rattle can build, everything in here was done with a rattle can except for a tiny detail painting, which would just be chrome um, and uh, knobs and shifters and things like that. Uh, a little bit of orange peel, as you can see, as it's spinning around, but not overall not too bad. And we used the, uh, it's still going to be polished up on the sides a little. Um, we use the extreme one coat lacquer uh, for the clear coat in the can and so did all that uh, but the major thing that we learned about ourselves in this build is that I already kind of knew this but we had to reconfirm I am better at bare metal foil which is on the bottom here than I am with the silver pens whether it's the chrome pen or this one I used, the, the Prisma pen, the one that Chris Cortell showed. Um, I, it, I'm just not uh, pen savvy. Uh, I don't keep straight lines, it runs, I make mistakes. Um, I'm just better at the bare metal foil, I think. But I wanted to give the chrome pen a try, just to see. Because like I said, this was a quick build. Um, so let's take it off here real quick. bring a little bit more light in for y'all but uh, yeah we got the hood to sit down now the chrome trim doesn't look too bad but if we were to get really close you would you would see it's kind of it's got some uh, mishaps there um, also it kind of didn't do well on the little emblems 
the back part we used a gel pen which was much much better um, so I'm okay with doing that but I think for a chrome trim we will probably just go with um, bare metal foil from now on one of the tires is still drying the grill is blacked out uh, front end wise actually did pretty good um, got it blacked out like I said not too bad you all saw the engine in an earlier build uh, I'm not sure I can yay alright um, and I'll put you on wobbly mode here a little bit which is going to be difficult to do with a tripod but bear with me shaking 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 um, here is our engine bay. Oh, we had it too. It focused right in. There we go. Um, definitely did some detail picking. Um, our windshield is pretty clear. We dipped it in future last night. Um, just talking to a few good guys last night. Um, having a fun time. Had to do some things that uh, I couldn't really screw up because I was laughing so hard. So, um, dip this in future, and uh, yeah, we got everything in and, and gone. So it's done. Um, the best, nah. But for a rattle can build that I haven't done in years, and a nice shelf build, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we'll give it one more quick polish up. Like I said, we got our exhaust tips on there. Grand National Engine, put the little fatty tires on instead of the slims and had to put the Kragers on, um, which were really good. Actually, the tires are super nice on this kit. If you can find this one on, on eBay, definitely pick it up. Um, you might have that uh, the mold issue where the um, rain rail here didn't get fully molded, so there's pieces missing on the other side. Um, that's why I couldn't bare metal foil it, really. So we got that, and... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we have. So let's get it back in frame. And we'll uh, look to get another auto on the bench. Not sure what yet. Um, but uh, also got uh, a group build coming up here that I'm jumping in on. You'll see a, hopefully a video on that soon. We've also got uh, Ben's build finished, which Joe builds with Ben. That's actually finished up. And uh, we'll be doing a video on that as well here soon. So until next time, everyone, hope you enjoy your weekend and take care. Round and round.